Okay, so one of the most secure custom ROMs if you talk about is now updated and it's been some time since I made a video on a Graphene OS. Graphene OS is officially available for Google Pixel devices, but unofficially, I guess it's available for few of the devices. I'm not so sure, but for official versions, they, this is available for all the Pixel supported devices. When you start Graphene OS for the first time, you will see this kind of pop-up and as you can see at the top, the bootloader is unlocked. The thing is, in my case, I installed it without locking my bootloader, but I can lock my bootloader and this supports locking the bootloader. So yes, you can install Graphene OS, lock the bootloader and stay in the de-googled environment and this, this could be quite exciting thing. Of course, there are some disadvantages too, but still, I guess if you actually want to de-google your Android, this could be a great choice for you. But by the way, in case you are wondering about the Google services, you can install them very easily. There's a dedicated app store available in the Graphene OS. Whenever you set up on your device for the first time, you will see we have these options present. At the, at the bottom, basically, you have the option for Google Play services. You have some other apps too, which you can install on your device. For example, at the bottom or at the just at the last third option, you will see Google Play services option is here. What this does, you can install it on a device. It will install Google services framework and Google Play Store and so on. So you'll be able to use this thing. We also have an alternative available for the Google Chrome, which looks similar to Google Chrome, but it's not Google Chrome at all. This is Vanadium. The name is or the name of this browser is. And if you take a look at the settings, it's looking like we're using Google Chrome, but it is not at all. We have options to customize the search engine. We have the option to customize a lot more extra things in this case. And as I just mentioned, the name is Vanadium, I guess. And definitely the main focus is on the privacy and security. So yes, this custom room is one of the most secure custom rooms right now. If you're looking forward to a very secure environment where you can use your phone, this could be one of the choices for you. Graphene OS is now updated because I installed it after a long time. Security and privacy. Here comes a lot of extra options for you. Exploit protection, for example. Firstly, we have the auto reboot option, we have USB-C port, and then we have other options, so on. I'll talk about that later on. Auto reboot, as you can see, automatically reboot the device if it hasn't been unlocked within that time frame. This one is quite exciting, named as USB-C port. You can choose any one of these options. Does not add, add any restrictions, or you can enable the charging only mode. And there is extra explanation available because this is a little bit different as compared to the normal USB options where you have in other Android versions or basically other Android custom rooms, operating systems, etc. There are some extra options available for the developers too. So this should not be taken as, you know, I mean, if you're using a you, if you are actually a user using this custom room, we don't need to, you don't need to know this thing. We also have the secure app spawning, which I'm not exactly sure how this works, but it's here, which basically means it launches app in a secure environment. Definitely Graphene OS has a lot more under the hood changes, which many of you are not aware of. So definitely it's completely fine. One more thing is, whenever you open any app info you will see more information as compared to the normal android custom rooms or basically normal android operating systems we have more options available and one more thing is for example if i open this thing click on app info you will see we have the four stop option available disable uninstall etc and we also have the option for view logs i can view the logs of that particular app for example that app is crashing for me i can see the log of course definitely you must have the knowledge uh, how to see those, how to how to forget or basically how to fix that thing. There are a lot of options available for you. And of course, we have a lot more extra information available in this case. One more thing is it supports OTA updates. Definitely, it's not like you've installed this thing and done, then you are looking forward to update. You have to wipe your data, nothing like that. You can use Graphene OS, lock your bootloader and you can update it through OT and we have some options available, stable, beta or anything else. There are other options available for you to customize so don't miss them. There are a lot of things in this custom room which you, which you can explore after installing this thing. So definitely if you're a Pixel device user, you have to check this out on a device at least once if you're looking forward to something else. So this is about Graphene OS. Make sure to like this video if you love this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.